Our side tonight with the rising cost of prom and a program working to make it more affordable for students in Charlotte. It is tonight's cover story. It is that time of year when students start preparing for that high school milestone. There's a lot to plan before going to prom, finding a date or a group of friends to go with, and of course, what to wear. Prom is supposed to be a night to remember for high schoolers, but it will cost them too. Take a look at this. It is estimated a student could spend $2,000 or more for that one night. With those prices, graduates of Geringer High School are stepping up, so current students can have that night to remember without costing them an arm and a leg. WBTV's Dedrick Russell shows us how this program came together and how it's taking the meaning of school spirit to a whole new level. It is tonight's cover story. The red carpet has been rolled out, so have the dresses, shoes, and accessories. I'm really nervous because, I don't know, prom is like, I never imagined going to prom. Garinger High School senior Amelia Jeffrey says glitz and glamour are not her thing. I'm kind of simple. I'm not big on, like, really big parties, so I'm just like, Ooh. But I'm going to go for my friends and for my mom. So since Amelia is going to her prom, she came here to say yes to a dress. They were like, you got to get more color. So I got this green one. This is called Cinderella's Closet, a place where students can get a whole outfit at no cost and keep it. Listen to how this closet got started two years ago. My first two years here, it, a young lady had came and she couldn't go to the prom and I asked her why she couldn't afford a dress and that just touched me and it stayed with me. Peggy Shropshire works in the school's front office. After hearing that story, she called on the Lady Wildcats. These are women who graduated from Garinger High School in the 60s, 70s and 80s. Debbie Thomas answered that call. She graduated back in 1968. This is her prom picture. See her dress? She made it. She says the difference between prom dresses then and now. Dresses have changed a lot. <laughs> the, the cost of the dresses has just skyrocketed. The kids can't afford them. For the past two years, Thomas reached out to Garinger graduates and neighborhoods requesting dresses. This year, about 300 showed up. Some were even brand new. It was just absolutely amazing that that many people, I mean, they don't know me from Adam, you know. Uh, it's just, it's amazing to me that, that people are that generous. And that type of generosity goes a long way. This year, Garinger High School has been hit with lots of sadness. Students were victims of fatal gunshots and car crashes. This year, we have suffered quite a loss, and it has touched a lot of our students. And letting them know that we care. It appears caring is now every student's assignment, even when looking for a dress. You check on the people who are grieving, going through the loss, but it's also good to keep them lifted up. We have lost, but we also have gained. We learn from tragedy, but we also build to make ourselves stronger, to love each other. That love is not just for current students, but it continues even after graduation. Just ask this 1968 graduate. She's been going through some life challenges and had to lean on her wildcats. I've been sick twice in the last couple of years and I've asked for prayers and it's just flooded Facebook. Really more than you could ask. It's just amazing. I don't know. It's just, we're, we're just a good group of people that, that still want to connect. As Thomas gets better, Garinger's school spirit and Cinderella's closet continues to grow. This is the beginning. It's not just prom dresses. We're going to expand to clothes for interviews, clothes for church affairs, clothes that can help you. Clothes that can help guys too. One young man last week walked away with a suit for graduation one for the prom and he never expected that when he came to school that morning and he just he just couldn't believe it he had tears in his eyes he made me feel good i mean and the price is only a smile and it's those smiles that can make a difference and remind this high school senior to tell her classmates who have experienced some dark days that better days are ahead. It's part of life. You can't be sad all the time. You gotta have some good parts of it. At Garinger High School, Dedrick Russell, WBTV, on your side tonight.
the price of a smile.